Hello ladies, this is video number five and I'd like to start out by thanking you all for showing me the courtesy of giving me suggestions of things you would like me to cover and also for helping me to do better each time by sending me hints about videos and so today I would like to talk about courtesy in the home. Courtesy means to be friendly minded and to use an old expression that's mighty friendly of you and one way that you can show courtesy in the home is to dress respectively for the home because there are other people around and even if there's just you there's a respectable feeling that you get that will help you to approach your life at home in an entirely different manner when you're dressed well and so today is a very gloomy day here. It's dark outside. It's raining. It's storming. And the inside of the house uh, is dark. So I'm wearing yellow because it gives a feeling of optimism and of hope. And it does impress others around me. And the second thing that you can do to show courtesy at home is to pick up after yourself and don't leave work for other people to do and don't create burdens for other people. This is so important even for the homemaker even though she's in charge and she could legitimately make other people clean up after her. It's best to show the example of not creating burdens for other people by looking after yourself, looking after your own things and others will follow suit and it's a good way to train children is to be whatever you want them to be to be that yourself and the third thing that is courteous for home living is not to spread gloom and doom around but to build one another up and to find ways of correcting things without bringing a feeling of the home of complete defeat so the Bible through uh, the New Testament talks about courtesy and says be courteous one to another. So with a friendly attitude we can create the atmosphere in the home that uplifts other, builds one another up and makes home living worthwhile. Thank you so much for your comments and thank you for watching. Goodbye.